what is the best form of water to drink, distilled reverse osmosis or something else? Well, water is a very interesting subject today. After Penta water came out here in the United States, everyone jumped on the water bandwagon because, boy, did that guy make millions of dollars. What he did is put some electrical charge in some average water and sell it for $1.50 to $2 a bottle and make all this mystical claims up. And, and people are buying cases of this, and, and the placebo is powerful, telling me they can fly now and their sex life is better and their cancers have fallen out of them. The truth of the matter is that our concern with water is to get the purest H2O, hydrogen and oxygen, available. In the scientific community, we have always and probably will always use distilled water. Now, you have the non-scientific camp of salesmen who are going to tell you distilled water is dead water. Well, it is. The way we happen to make it, we boil it and we kill it. But by the way, you can't kill hydrogen and oxygen. So it's dead water that's pretending to be dead, just like I did when I was a little boy. And what you have to know is that that group of people, that camp is going to tell you it's going to rob your cells of nutrients. Well, if you believe in that, I'll also sell you a pair of used shoes and tell you they're, they're great for you. The fact of the matter is that hydrogen and oxygen does not have the ability to negotiate with the human cell and seduce minerals out of the cell and other nutrients. Uh, I've been drinking distilled water for well over 30 years, again, at very strong bones and never saw my body fall apart. As a matter of fact, I feel stronger every single year. Uh, reverse osmosis uh, years ago, uh, we used to be able to tell people that if you bought a very expensive, sophisticated machine, it was a great machine. And then these crazy people in the oil industry, of course, they don't make a lot of money now, of course, the oil industry, they started to add an additive that purportedly was going to help to reduce air pollution. They found out that didn't happen. As a matter of fact, the air pollution got more noxious, toxic, and, and now this, this darn chemical, it's an ethyl, MTBE, is all over our aquifers, in all of our water, all over the world, in underground rivers. And this is deadly. As a matter of fact, it was called by several of the environmental organizations and governmental organizations the most deadly carcinogenic cancer-causing chemical ever unleashed into the environment. And reverse osmosis sadly doesn't take that out. We have a machine that we consider to be the Rolls-Royce of machines that was developed, designed, and put together by a medical doctor who, in his own practice, started to see that hydration was significant and dehydration was causing a lot of the problems we have today. Uh, it's 17 phases. One of the phases are alkalizers. Uh, too bad today, a lot of people telling you that alkalizers are enough to purify water. They're not. They're terrific. They're wonderful. Alkalizers charge and empower the water, for lack of better terms for you, but they don't purify the water well enough. You need a system that really, really takes all of the, the heavy metals out, the toxins, the poisons. Uh, some of the studies that you may not be aware of articulate to you now. The state of California wisely, a number of years ago, tested every waterway and every water system, lake, river, stream, uh, that they had in the state. And they found out that every single one of them were contaminated with pharmaceutical medicine. Now you say, how is that true? Frankly, when we urinate out and feces out pharmaceutical drugs, because they've been molecularly changed in the process of laboratory monstering, or as I call Frankensteinism, they have now not the biological ability to break down back into the environment that they originated from. Because all pharmaceutical drugs originate from plants or from rocks. But it's that manipulation that changes the molecule and atomic structure so it no longer can adapt back to the biology of the environment. With that said, we're not sure, and I think each drug, and nobody's probably done studies on this, take long times to break down, maybe some, and this is out of my mind, understanding radioactivity, uh, like nuclear medicine, may take 100,000 years or more to break down again. So with that, think about all of that. How many of these systems take it out? Distillation and the level of molecule organized filtration that I'm talking about. No other systems take that out. If you're worried about distilled water being dead, Put it in a glass jar, shake it up, stick it in the window, pray over it, ohm, sing to it, whatever you want. 
And by the way, that may make you feel good, but it's good water. Uh, number two, a highly sophisticated system like the living water system, uh, the wellness systems that we use at Hippocrates, these are available worldwide, is going to preclude the, the ethyl we spoke about, also give you high, high quality water. That's proven itself to be phenomenally effective.